When I look out to sea, I think first and foremost about how beautiful it is. And then I think that we need to preserve this beauty. Mujib Latif is a climate expert. His research focuses on the sea and climate change. The winner of the German Environmental Award works at the Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research in Kiel. I was born here, my parents were born there. And where do you feel more at home? Here or there? Ultimately, I feel at home here in northern Germany, where I was born, raised and have spent most of my life. But I also feel at home here in Pakistan, because you can't deny your roots. So I still feel very close to the people who live there. In Germany, Latif is known for being outspoken about global warming. He views extreme weather phenomena like droughts and floods as proof that the climate is beginning to change dramatically. What will happen to the oceans if climate change continues unchecked? The oceans absorb a large part of the heat from climate change, which naturally causes changes to the ecosystem. And what about the fish? Fish are, of course, a part of this giant ecosystem, and they'll be affected in one way or another. For one thing, because the food they eat, which has to be there at a specific time, might no longer be around at that time of year. And then fish already face many other problems, like shifting pH from the absorption of CO2, which not only causes global warming, but also acidification. Then there's plastic waste and other kinds of pollution. What's next? What about the upcoming climate conference? To date, the climate change conferences and world leaders have failed spectacularly, I'm sorry to say. Since these negotiations began, and Paris will be the 21st climate change conference, CO2 emissions have soared by 60 percent. Clearly, that's a damning indictment. Yet I think we can look to the future with optimism. The sun doesn't cost anything, neither does wind or geothermal energy. And where else can you find that? Free raw materials. Sooner or later, their day will come. Do you really think economics alone will make people more reasonable? Yes, I think we live in a world that's economy-based. I'm not a dreamer. I know things must pay off economically. You know a lot about the consequences of climate change. Does that sometimes frighten you? No, that's a luxury I can't allow myself. It's like the doctor-patient relationship. If you get emotionally involved, you can't think straight anymore. Yet the climate expert feels a responsibility and he's counting on public support. It's important to make clear to a broad section of the population what it's all about. Because we can't rely solely on politicians to do that, at least in my experience. You have to exert pressure from below, and that's best done through the media. Thank goodness we have a free press that delivers our message. You turned 60 not long ago. Why does the fate of coming generations concern you so much? I've had a pretty wonderful life on this planet, which offers everything you could ever want. And I simply wish that coming generations will be just as lucky as I have been. So Mojib Latif won't give up. He continue with his research and his warnings on the consequences of climate change.